Hi, welcome to our Reacts video for Booksmart, the Red Band trailer. That's right, kids. You shouldn't be here right now because it's got the red tape all over this motherfucker. Swear words and all. What is Booksmart Ash? Two academic superstars and best friends who, on the eve of their high school graduation, realized they should have worked less and played more. Determined not to fall short of their peers, the girls try to cram four years of fun into one night. So it Polarity sounds like... Issues, I assume. It does sound like a typical uh, teenage comedy type thing, but it has been getting a lot of buzz, fairly good reviews, because it's dropped at uh, South by Southwest, Southwest. that is screening, and it's directed by one Olivia Wilde. So that's uh, kind of the standout things from it, unless I'm missing something else that's kind of good to know information about this one. I mean, starring Beanie Feldstein and Caitlin Dave Deva. Um, Will Forte is in it. Cool. <laughs> Apparently, Will Forte is. Yeah, those two have been in a bunch of stuff yeah. recently. Lady Bird and uh, she was in spoilers Uncharted Four. Shock <laughs> <gasps> uh, horror! Uh, all right, let's watch the trailer. Good morning, winner. Take a deep breath. Visualize the mountain of your success and look down at everyone who's <laughs> ever doubted you. Fuck those losers. Fuck them in their stupid <laughs> fucking faces. Got him. I need this morning routine. Oh shit. <laughs> Are we gonna go to school or? What's two plus two? Four, three, two, four, Isn't it crazy that it's the last day of school? Go talk to her. She's got a really cute smile. Amy, do you know how many girls are gonna be up your vagina next year? Every time I come to visit you, you're gonna be scissoring a different girl. Dude, scissoring is not a thing. Don't knock it until it's you tried it. Thing. Don't knock it until you tried it. Ow! It's the last day. We got you through high school. I need to go over the end of the year budget numbers. Can't we just graduate, head off to college? That should do it, right? We will persist. I can't hear you. I can't soundproof glass. We have to go to a party tonight. What? Nobody knows that we are fun. We didn't party because we wanted to focus on school and get into good colleges. And it worked. But the irresponsible people who partied also got into those colleges. I'm incredible at hand jobs, but I also got a 1560 on the SATs. We haven't done anything. We haven't broken any rules. Name one person whose life was so much better because they broke a couple of rules. Picasso. He broke art rules. Rosa Parks. Name another Susan one. Susan B. Anthony. God damn it. Picture this. I'm a bag of dicks. Put me to your lips. Hand sanitizer. Pack. Chapstick. Pack. Mace. Listen, it is very important that you keep the safety. Oh! Ah! The safety on! Ah! Don't touch your eyes! <laughs> Nobody's here. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the fuck is this? May ask the question! Oh my god. But what can I say? Well, this seems excessive. Shotgun. Just kidding. I don't have one. <laughs> don't say that we're having a date night. Why? It's funny your parents think we're boning. What you two have is special. We are going to show each other how much we care about each other. We'll probably just do a Korean face mask. I don't need to know all the words. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that one? Yeah, it looks good. It has potential. I mean, fun female-led comedy. Yeah, I get, my mind immediately goes to Blockers because obviously that was the big, that sort of film from last year. So if it can be something like that, that'd be pretty good. looks a little bit different though, I suppose. It's yeah. more focused on the actual girls, whereas Blockers was kind of a combination of, uh, yeah. between both, I suppose. Well, if, they realize they don't need the parents anymore. So. Yeah, they, 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 this movie wouldn't exist without Blockers, even though it was probably being filmed at the exact same time. Yeah, it was yeah. yeah, it's so coming out, yeah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> One thing I, I find interesting about the trailer, I like it. I like everything that's happening. Interesting trailer is, and I appreciate it, but at the same time, maybe not the best idea to sell the movie, is that it does the thing where it's actually keeping a lot of the potentially funnier scenes of them actually going out and doing stuff all hidden. Like, pretty much all of that trailer is before they actually head out to do stuff. And then it's only at the end of the trailer that you start seeing little snippets of here and there and ideas of what 
how their their night is going to go kind of thing, like the cop car and whatever else. But pretty much the majority of that trailer was all pre, like probably the first 20 minutes yeah, of the movie kind up. of thing. I mean, I'm sure that's a similar way to how The Hangover was pitched. You just have the build up and then you leave snippets of just... Oh, no, I'd, have to, I'd have to go watch I mean, the trailer for The great. Hangover again yeah. to see if they even yeah. tried to hide anything that, that happened. In my mind, that's how they did it. Because... That was like a mystery, obviously. That was, yeah. Well, was part mystery movie, so. It's good watching it because it's obviously keeping a lot of stuff hidden and, and secrets for us. But then, of course, I'm like, people aren't they need go. two trailers. Oh, they, need, they, need, they need trailers for people who want to watch good trailers and not have movies spoiled. And then they need to make a <laughs> second trailer that's called the- Spoiler trailers. For people who want to watch the entire fucking movie, but then get sold on it and go watch it and then complain they watch the whole thing in the fucking trailer anyway trailers. And then then there for the general like kind of populace, I suppose. Because if this yeah. was edited by your general, the way they generally edit comedies of this type, guarantee it would have shown you a lot of the funnier scenes and stuff where they were out being a bit more outrageous and stuff and all that sort of stuff. That's my only note. I'm not saying it's bad. I like the trailer. I just found it was interesting that it wasn't cut that way considering that's how... I expect these types of movies to be cut. And even if you're going to compare it to Blockers, Blockers included a lot of the scenes, uh, of course, last year, uh, the big ones, be it the butt choking or anything like that was in some of the trailers. Uh, the car flipping, uh, the whole what would Vin Diesel do thing and they fucking flip the car going around the corner and all that all that sort of stuff. So that, that trailer included a lot more of the outrageous stuff. What have you found over there? Because I can tell you... I'm looking up what the song is. <laughs> Oh, dun, dun, dun. yeah, I don't actually know the song at all, sorry. We should have whipped out our Shazams and held it up to our headphones or something and had it tell us what the song is. It's uh, Darude, uh, Sandstorm, in case you wanted to know. I just looked it up just then. It? Yeah, just looked it okay. up just right then <laughs> in my Google Glass. <laughs> 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 what, what are you going to write, Booksmart, then? Two thumbs up. Looks I'll, give it two, I'll, I'll give it two thumbs up, too. After all that. After Apparently, all my... it's Nobody Speak by DJ Shallow... Featuring Run the Jewels. They, oh, yeah, a bunch of dicks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm a bag of dicks. Put me to your lips. Yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> Run the Jewels. Yeah. I the jewels. like them. <laughs> Thank you for watching this reacts uh, Red Band trailer for Booksmart. You can find more, of course, explosionnetwork.com or youtube.com slash explosion network. Like, subscribe. Bye bye. <laughs>